In today's video, we take a look around Alton Water Campsite, which is situated in Suffolk. Let's start with some practicalities. Check-in and information are in the shed on the left here, and you'll be shown to your pitch. Bins and recycling are also located here. There's one modern facilities block in the middle of the site. This houses an outdoor dishwashing area, waste disposal area. It's worth noting there's no motorhome service point though. Inside the block are freezers for ice packs, as well as toilets, showers and hand basins. The shower cubicles are quite small for dressing, but there is an area outside them for this if you prefer. All the pitches are grass and it's essentially one large field, although some hedges are being grown. For the time being, it does feel quite open and exposed, and you are quite close to some of the units around you. There's a gate that leads down to the reservoir at Alton Water itself, and there's many activities there, a water sports centre, um, walking, cycling, etc. The site has also recently added these two bell tents. So far, so good then. However, if you've watched some of our other campsite reviews and you find yourselves in agreement with what we've said about those, you might want to think carefully before booking this site. It's well set up for groups and we found that made it very, very noisy. It was essentially like being in a children's playground for pretty much from 6am until 11pm and then there were also groups of adults sitting around. They were only chatting but obviously when the rest of the place is quiet you do hear that noise and it can be irritating. We stayed on a Friday and Saturday night and that probably didn't help. When we left on Sunday it looked pretty quiet so maybe during the week you'd get a different experience. The facilities are nice and modern and the staff do a good job in their daily clean but when we were there it seemed like some of the guests didn't respect the facilities quite as much as you'd like. Nothing major, um, just things that made them less immaculate than we would expect and hope to find on another campsite. Overall, we'd say it was a bit of a Marmite campsite. Some people will completely disagree with what we didn't like and it will suit them down to the ground. But if, like us, you prefer peace and quiet, although you can find that at the reservoir itself, you might be best off not booking this campsite. Thanks for watching!